Hello everyone and welcome back to Clinical Cousins YouTube channel where today we're going to go over the drug probenicid, also known as Benamid. This drug is classified as a uricosuric medication or simply a drug that helps us urinate out more uric acid. This drug is given to reduce uric acid levels to prevent gout attacks and interestingly enough to prolong the levels and effects of penicillin and cephalosporin antibiotics in our blood. It cannot be given to patients who have a history of uric acid kidney stones, to patients experiencing an acute gout attack, or to patients using high dose aspirin therapy. In pregnant women, it is not known if this drug is safe. Now, for you, I have drawn a nephron. Remember that nephrons are our in our kidneys and are the basic functional unit of the kidney. Now normally in our nephrons we are always filtering, reabsorbing substances into the blood and secreting substances from the blood into our urine. Although this happens along the entire nephron, this drug probenicid acts on the first portion of the nephron called the proximal convoluted tubule or PCT. Normally, the PCT reabsorbs urate or uric acid back into the blood and secretes organic acids like penicillin and cephalosporin antibiotics into the urine. Now, probenicid inhibits both of these mechanisms. This means that uric acid will not be reabsorbed and will be urinated out of the body and our penicillin and cephalosporin antibiotics will not be secreted so they will remain in the blood and they will have a longer duration of action. The result is we have lower levels of uric acid in the blood and we have higher amounts of penicillin and cephalosporin antibiotics in our blood. Now, you should be aware that this drug is meant for gout prevention, not for acute gout flare-ups. This drug has an onset of about 2 hours and a half-life of about 12 hours. The side effects of this drug may include headache, nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. Some commonly tested material about this drug is that it will prevent gout attacks by decreasing uric acid reabsorption, and it will prolong the effects of penicillins and cephalosporins by preventing their secretion into the urine. And please remember that this is a maintenance medication and not a rescue medication for acute gout flare-ups. As always, thank you for taking the time to learn with us today, and remember to like and subscribe for more content.